addition of our new uh, coral exhibit, we wanted to add some new interpretation on uh, coral bleaching and why that is important to uh, the coral that we have and to the coral worldwide in the oceans um, also. So this shows what coral bleaching actually is and why um, it happens. So coral, when it's bleaching, basically what it does is a live, you know, healthy coral will have a certain type of uh, algae that lives, you know, within the algae tissue. That is a symbiotic relationship between the coral and the algae, so each will benefit from living together. And what is uh, caused when a coral bleaches is the coral is stressed under some sort of factor, either high water temperature, uh, high or uh, low pH um, uh, water currents, you know, something that's not normal in the ocean. And when that happens, the coral will actually expel uh, this uh, algae to kind of uh, keep the coral alive a little bit or to, you know, protect it. And when that happens is it needs the, it needs that algae in there. So what happens is the coral will actually start to get white and bleach. And if this happens over an extended period of time, the coral will actually die. Uh, it can take a little bit of time. The, the algae can actually inhabit the coral again and it can be, you know, fine. But if this happens for an extended period of time, meaning like months or something, the coral in the reef will actually uh, not be in very good condition. It can, you know, the whole reef could die. So in the Gulf of Maine, we don't really have this particular type of coral, but this is important worldwide because the coral reefs only take up about 1% of the ocean, but it actually holds about 25% of the species in the whole ocean. So this coral reefs are very important to the overall health of you know the ocean, including the Gulf of Maine where we are. So we do have another interpretive uh, plaque here also that, in, that uh, talks about uh, threats to coral reefs. We talked about, I talked about that a little bit before, and a lot of it is uh, the ocean getting too warm, uh, which uh, corals actually, they can tolerate a certain uh, temperature range, and if it gets too warm, just like with people, it um, you know, stresses them out, and with that stress, that's when they uh, start to bleach. So it's stress, it's, um, if the water gets too high, it's sea level rise, it's pH, it's many factors, and this kind of describes that a little bit. It also describes a few things what people can maybe do to help, um, you know, oceans in general, not just the Gulf of Maine, but the worldwide ocean.